Buddy here, and I'm doing a review on Joey Sturgis Tones, Tone Forge, Ben Bruce amp plugin. I think this is a really good plugin, especially sitting in a mix just instantly. It's really good. It's not your typical super metal plugin, but that's not what everyone needs. This is a really, really good, really affordable. Put it into your mix over your guitars as your amp and get a good tone right away that you don't need to mess with that much. So I'm going to dive right into it and show you some tones you can get out of it. So right off the bat, haven't done anything factory default. This is the sound. <laughs> Factory default, really good, just set as it is. Now I turn the gate up quite a bit on this because you'll end up in your mix, I found, finding some hums. And that's the biggest thing I've battled with this is you find some hums and some like white noise at the very end of playing things, like sh just like really quick at the end, even with it turned up a lot. Now this gate either cuts out too much or too little and that's really my only complaint on this amp plugin otherwise right off the bat you have a really good sound that's it with the gate up at about one o'clock so right now the gain is at about three o'clock i'm going to put everything just at about midnight here Put the treble at one, presence at one. This is a great sounding amp plugin actually for rock and roll and pop punk things. Like I was saying, they sit in a mix really fast, really easy. They don't dominate your mix. Like some, you know, especially plugins and amp sims do they're just so aggressive then they want to be such a high gain metal amplifier this one's really subtle i think and ready to throw in there and let you do more writing and recording rather than tweaking with an amp so this does have pedals which is really cool when you're going for a much more metal sound we're going to go for that I'm going to leave everything at that setting, but we're going to go to this overdrive pedal they have on here. I'm going to crank up the drive, the gain, the tone, all the knobs. 100%. So there you go. Great metal tone already really good to throw right in your mix when you t mess with that overdrive pedal i think that's when you start to get a little more funky with the gate and kind of trying to battle too much and too little using the gate on here this also has effects and a built-in eq honestly the eq i don't mess with too much i still like to do that with as its own plug-in and I know most people do, but that's a great option that JST throws in everything like their base forge. It has a uh, limiter in here too. I mean, if you're really dig into it and tweak a lot of things kind of guitarist, this is a great amp plugin for you. Um, it comes with effect pedals. So you have a delay. I'm gonna turn that off bypass and give you an example. <laughs> Really good delay. I've thrown this on a lot of stuff and a lot of leads, and I think that's where this amplifier's strong suit is, especially for a plug-in, is in using it for leads with these really cool effects. I mean, these pedals are really good sounding, and typically when you get a plug-in amplifier on here or on your computer to throw into your DAW, and it has effects, it's really expensive. I seriously think I got this on sale for 40 bucks. 
Now we'll go to this reverb pedal is awesome as well. Gives you some really, really good tonal options for a really affordable price. Let's crank some knobs up here. So yeah, overall, really, really good plug-in right off the bat.